My name is Nada Arnashev. I'm the Assistant Director General for the sector called Social and Human Sciences at UNESCO. It's one of five program sectors which has a lot of cross-cutting issues. Um, the values part of UNESCO we like to think and a commitment to uh, producing knowledge and harnessing it for social justice and social development. When the opportunity came, I welcomed uh, with UNESCO uh, some things that have always been very special. I think one, uh, the magic of the UNESCO convening and moral authority. I think this notion of being the world lead on, on culture, on understanding uh, things that are really essential, I think, in all of our fields, uh, the right to education, understanding, freedom of expression, um, working on the sciences uh, in a very, I think, innovative way. It's interesting to think that all your decisions or the way that the career unfolds is very actually planned and meticulous, but that's not how it is, of course. <laughs> it's uh, largely a series of coincidences, of, uh, the way that things turn out. I think I've been very lucky, first of all, to have uh, very, very supportive teams and bosses to work with, which is always important, but especially in our world. Um, I think one decision that I made which was very special uh, with a lot of coercion uh, was to be part of the team that was working in Baghdad after the invasion of Baghdad in 2003. Uh, I was supposed to go for six months to lead a huge program for UNDP, about 750 people, almost a billion dollars. Um, six weeks into it, we had the explosion at the Canal Hotel. I was badly injured, and uh, that cut it short, but I don't think I have ever felt the importance of the UN as after that. And it was very important for the career because I think it puts everything in perspective you realize that it is dedicated men and women who work uh, from all walks of life to achieve things that we know make a difference. Um, and obviously, when we lost so many colleagues, and, and we have in several places since then, we rededicated ourselves to that cause. So it was very transformative for the whole career. And it's what keeps me going, I think. I think it's very important to believe that there's always something to learn and, and the way to, to, uh, to really improve on the skill set that you have. And I think it's in two areas, certainly, as you have the possibility to play a bigger role in the organization in which you are serving, and as you take on more responsibilities. Um, I think they're in two areas for me. Uh, one is the management role. I think it's uh, increasingly difficult, uh, I think, to balance uh, the substantive knowledge, uh, the involvement in content, in programmatic development, and take on uh, the very important business of running a shop. Uh, because you have to manage financially, you have to manage human resources, you have to manage strategic decisions. Of course, as you also grow in seniority, you also have political responsibilities to advise uh, your superiors, to make sure that you can interact with your partners in a certain way. And these are, of course, about a personality, but they're also very, very specific skills. And I think we have to understand that we have to nurture them uh, in the management way. And again, I've been lucky first to have some great role models, and I think every system needs them from whom to learn, but also some genuine learning opportunities. And the other, of course, is related to the substance. There are a lot of things that, uh, and this is partly the attraction of UNESCO for me, that I really did not know so well. So I am fully immersed in the humanities. I'm understanding more about ethical reflection, because that's what we do. We are experimenting with our youth outreach. Uh, you know, I, I love the work that we do on the slave route and the Silk Road. So I think it's both the substantive and the management content. As a senior management, as a woman uh, in the organization, uh, it's a responsibility that I have, both individually and as part of this group, which is the senior management team, to make sure that we give uh, our colleagues the chance to grow professionally. Uh, and, and I believe strongly that mobility is critical to that. Um, I myself have served in uh, three duty stations uh, in the field and two headquarters settings in Geneva and New York. Uh, and I think that view uh, is very important. I think it's important that we consider 
the movement between headquarters and the field and the change between regions. Um, I wish I had done more of it. I didn't. I, I think I, I somehow have this comparative advantage, which is the Arab world, and I am passionate about the development of the Arab world, so I stuck to it. But in an ideal way, we have some colleagues who have done three or four regions, and, and that, uh, of course, is uh, complicated because moving families and careers and managing um, lifestyles across continents is not easy, but I think we should get better at it to make sure that we can do that. It's really important that people understand that we are also a consulting firm in the private sense of how it's done. We are also an intergovernmental system because that's who we work with. Um, it's uh, an international development experience which is really rooted in many others. I think if you come from the private sector, you come from academia, you come from your own government or a civil society organization, those perspectives are very important for us but it will be amazing how much also those individuals can learn from this setting. So we really would welcome the diversity. We think it's important and we hope that we will have the chance um, to really uh, in include so many different profiles in the work that we want to do.